What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved Expert Mode. Oh, yeah, guys. All right. So I've done some things off camera here. And one of those things that I have done is I made myself a new crossbow. And of course, I don't have it out for you guys to see. Here it is. I made a new crossbow and I made some new bolts. So we are using a Signalum crossbow limb. Is that what it's called? Let's look at this thing. Yeah, the crossbow limb is Signalum. We're using the fiery bowstring as well. Obsidian tough binding and then an Enderium crossbow body. And then for the bolts, we are doing an Enderium bolt that is Enderium tipped using a slime fletching. So what does that all give us? That gives us a crossbow <laughs> that uh, has an attack of 98 hearts. 98 hearts. We only have 10 hearts. This does 98. That is stupidly overpowered, and I really like it. <laughs> yeah, so um, I want to try this crossbow out, but we really don't have anything to try it out on. We've already, you know, murdered the Ender Dragon. So the next best thing would probably be a Wither boss, but we don't have any skeleton skulls to try this out on. Uh, so that's probably something we'll be looking at doing. I was also talking about uh, wanting to, what were we going to do? We're trying to make those heart canisters, and in order to make those, in order to make these, we need to have necrotic bones, and those only come from wither skeletons. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so we're going to have to make uh, some kind of a trap or spawner or something for these guys, and that's kind of what I'm looking at doing today. All right, I'm having enough fun, or I'm having too much fun with that. Okay, uh, so first thing that I want to do, uh, let us upgrade our jetpack. So I got some stuff together here so we can do all of the upgrading of the jetpacks that we need. Uh, so we need two of these Inverisium Dynamos, something like that. Uh, we also need some of this Petroth Petrothium Dust. Yeah, we need that to go here to make some of these. All right, so there's some Resonant Thrusters. Cool. And then... Scoot over here. Actually, we need to take off our current jetpack and we will take them apart. We'll come over here. We'll throw our jetpack in this guy with a couple of those new thrusters. And there we go. Resonant jetpack. Ding. Got it. So that is awesome. Uh, we also need to upgrade the armor. Let us head over here to our induction smelter. And we'll stick one of those and 10 of these in there. This will do a little smelting operation, which will give us the higher tier armor which is going to be pretty awesome there we go so now we can put that like this and there we go resonant jetpack armored tier four is that i thought that said a higher tier a minute ago maybe i was looking at the protection that says protection six anyway so now we have the top tier jetpack which is really cool and this is near creative flight like we slowly sink down in hover mode which is really really awesome uh so the next thing that i want to do with this jetpack Let's see if we can put soul bound on it. If I ever die, I'd never want to lose that jetpack. <laughs> so yeah, I've been waiting till we get the top end one before I do this. We've got an anvil right here. And I want to see if it is actually possible. So let us take off the jetpack. We'll stick it right here with one of these. And it says, yes, it looks like it is enchantable, but I need some experience. Okay, that's fine. Give me, give me those. Don't want to lose them. So we need to get... Um, you know, I've been storing all of my experience. I keep taking it out of my body and putting it into these drums and we don't have a way of getting it back from this drum into us. Uh, you know, I think, yeah, I think we can do the open blocks tank and then we can do like a liquid thingy. Is that what we're going to do? Yeah, I guess we can do one of these. A liquid thingy to pull from the drum into this. So let's see if we can do that. Into here. And I think we can right click on these to gain levels. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Now we're at six levels. Awesome. So if we go from here to here, we did it. And it's got soul bound on it. So if we ever die, we won't lose our jetpack. How do we look now? Oh, we look fantastic. Awesome. <laughs> cool. So yeah, we got a really great jetpack. How much is this store? 10, 10 million RF. It's got, 
Yeah, the hover mode disable fuel usage 200 RF attack. No particle, or I guess the particles are default. Press U while wearing to open GUI. I'm pressing U. It's not doing anything. I don't know what that GUI is, but anyway. Uh, so now that we got soul bound on this, I'm not too afraid of losing our jetpack. So if we are in like the nether, for instance, and I get one of those weird crashes and then somehow I die and then I fall into lava or whatever, I'll still have my jetpack and we'll still be able to do things. That is really, really good. Okay. So now that we got that done, um, we are going to be looking at trying to, uh, try out that crossbow on a wither boss. But before we can do that, we need to get wither skeletons. And before we can do that, we have to find ourselves a nether fortress. We still have not found one yet in this world. And this, yeah, let's get rid of this and put that there. That should drain all the stuff back out. Okay, cool. We will put this all away. Okay, so we need to set up another portal here. Oh, I still got this liquid XP. I want to take out of the tank and stick back in this thing. So let's do that. All right, I'll just let that drain. So yeah, we want to set up another portal here and I'm kind of concerned. Uh, we're about a thousand blocks away from spawn, right? About 13, 1400 blocks, something like that. I'm not sure if we set up another portal here, if we're gonna link to the same place in the nether. And then the other thing I'm concerned about is if we do link to that same place, are we gonna go back to spawn uh, when we come back through? Hopefully none of those things happen, but we can always fix it. Uh, so we need some obsidian and we need, oh, I don't need 64, but I guess we're taking that, uh, some flint and steel. Is that in my ender pouch? It might still be in my ender pouch. Let's see here. Is it in my golden bag? It's right there. Found it. Okay. So let's go to the nether. I'm going to set up another portal, probably in the face of that mountain right there. I don't want it like crazy hidden and I want it. You know, if we have to walk for whatever reason that we're still accessible. So yeah, we're probably gonna stick it right over there at the base of that mountain. Looks like this is all done. Cool. Let me go and set this up. We'll go into the nether and we'll be right back guys. Okay guys. So before we go to the nether uh, and find the fortress and we find wither skeletons and all this stuff, I think it'd probably be a good idea to make ourselves a weapon to collect wither skeleton heads. So the best weapon to do that is a cleaver. And I have made a uh, Enderium large sword blade for the head of the cleaver. Then we have manual and tough rod to give us a little bit of durability that gives us up to about 4,500 durability. And then two paper uh, pieces here. We got the paper tough rod and paper large plate. Cool. So that will give us five modifiers, a decent amount of um, durability so we can put on a higher tier flux capacitor. Pretty happy with that. So let's first thing, we'll put the flux capacitor on there. So that is gonna be the redstone one. This will hold four million RF, cool. And uh, beyond that, so this thing has, what is it? A 20% chance to behead. So we're gonna put on some beheading modifiers on this thing. So this will add the beheading and this will make it a 30% chance. So each one of these additional modifiers that we add on there increases the beheading effect. And then we can also uh, put on the diamond and the gold block here to give us an additional modifier. So yeah, let's go ahead and add that on there. So that's beheading two. So this will give us 40%. Uh, that's 50% here, 60%. And then we can't add another modifier. So let's go ahead and put the gold block and diamond on there. Cool. And then we will put this and this on there. And finally, we will have a 70% chance to behead. Now, there's probably better ways to do that. We could get more modifiers on there. Actually, we can get more modifiers with like another star. If we kill enough wither bosses, we have extras. Uh, we could do the gold, the notch gold apple and diamond block. So we could get that up to like 90%. Uh, let us go charge that. Yeah, I did stick my uh, energetic infuser up here next to the redstone energy cell because it doesn't lose power. It's always charging at like the maximum speed when it's up there. So it's putting in 8,000 RF a tick. Yeah, much better. So this will take a minute to charge up and then we will head over to the nether. Oh yeah, another thing I just noticed about this jetpack, we can go like really fast with it. I think this is the fastest we've been able to fly around at all in this series, which is amazing. Uh, so that's even faster than I think the hang glider. So yeah, pretty happy about that. Okay, so here we go, Enderium Cleaver done. Uh, we're going to be working on a base entrance really soon. I've been thinking about what I want to do here. And it looks like an Enderman moved that grass block inside, huh? 
Okay, so it won't be much longer. We're still breaking glass, but I got a design <laughs> planned out for a entrance and we will look at that here pretty quick. So let's go to the nether and see where we end up. All right, so we are definitely in a different spot than we were previously. I'm looking, okay, so the waypoint's over there, 200 blocks away from spawn. Well, this is a fast way to get back to spawn if it's only 200 blocks away. Uh, let us go ahead and put a new waypoint here. Uh, waypoint, new name, nether exit, new base. All right, so. Uh, Minimap doesn't really show us a whole lot. Yeah, I've flown around a decent amount in the nether here, and I haven't found myself a fortress. Well, I guess I haven't flown around that much. When I zoom all the way out, it doesn't feel like that much. But yeah, I'm probably going to try heading over this direction over here, see if we can find one. And if not, I'll head over to the east. But either way, we should run into one pretty quickly. So yeah, let's go ahead and scope it out and see what we can come up with. All right, guys, so it's over to the west, and it looks like we are coming up to a nether fortress, which is really, really awesome. So hopefully we can find some wither skeletons just kind of chilling out here in this area. That would be pretty much the most optimal thing to look for. <laughs> uh, so uh, we could also find ourselves some blaze spawners, which can be pretty useful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, lava's still flowing. This is freshly generated stuff. And yeah, that lava's flowing over there. All right, well, let's just kind of poke around here and see what we can see. Is that a blaze? This feels like this would have been a blaze spawner right here, but I guess it's not. Yeah, that's kind of weird generation. There's a blaze right there. And we can easily one-shot blaze, which is awesome. Where does this go? There we go. There's a blaze spawner. Cool. Uh, now if we could just have a way to move spawners... That's like one of the next things I want to look at. Uh, the diamond dolly from Better Barrels has been disabled in this pack, and that's how you can move spawners around pretty easily in other packs that I've used. I know there's another item called a Porta Spawner from Mine Factory Reloaded, and that's going to be the next thing we're going to be looking at getting. Uh, Porta Spawner? Yeah, this thing right here. And this requires another star, so... Uh, I guess you can get it from a villager house. I think that's what this is, like a chest that's in a villager house. Uh, but yeah, we're going to try and uh, get some wither skeleton skulls the proper way. And then kill a wither. We might get that port of spawner. And then we could also look at moving a skeleton spawner here to the nether and make this whole process that much easier. So that's something we will look at. So first things first, I need to... Uh, find myself some wither skeletons. I see there's one on the mini map probably right around the corner. Let's get out our weapon here Die cool and that did drop a wither skeleton skull head awesome Okay, so we just need to keep cruising around. Hopefully we'll get some spawn in here and we'll be back guys Huh check that out. There's a skeleton <laughs> riding one of these nature's spiders all right, killed it. I don't know if that dropped the skull or not, but let's just kill these spiders. Actually, I can see a skull on the ground down there. It looks like it did drop one, so that's really cool. Awesome. All right, guys. So after all of the fighting that I did there in the nether, we ended up getting eight wither skeleton skulls and only one necrotic bone. That's not very much as far as the necrotic bones go. Uh, but yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and try and spawn in a wither boss, and I am going to... <laughs> Test out my Signalum crossbow. Let's see if we can one shot it. If not, maybe two shot it because that'll be pretty awesome. Yeah, we can fly decently fast and I think we can get away from the wither boss. I don't think it's going to be all up on us. We can also shoot it from quite a distance away. So I think we should be okay. So let's go ahead and place down the things we need to place down to get this thing going. I'm feeling pretty confident. And if it does get crazy, like we could probably just bust out of here and fly away from it. At least I hope so. So anyway. There we go, there's a wither. I'm not seeing the health bar increase, I'm not sure why. All right, one shot brought it down. Oh, that's right, we gotta use our sword on it the rest of the way, okay. Well, we might die to withering then. Got it. 
Oh, it didn't wither us at all. I'm in quicksand. I'm in quicksand. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I guess I forgot that uh, you can't shoot it all the way down unless you one shot it. Uh, our crossbow. Wow, what is this? Epic shader grab bag. I don't know what that is. I wasn't expecting that, actually. Um, yeah, I was thinking that we should be able to one shot it or get pretty close, but it looks like one shot brought it down pretty far and then like we had to hit it twice more which is fine that's really good okay uh uses is this just like a thing you right click and you get items shader sponsor level epic i don't know what this is mining drill rail gun revolver balloon minecart I, okay, <laughs> we have one of those. Cool. I don't know what it is. So we got another division sigil, which we don't need to do anything with. We've already uh, done the ritual. We got a, another star, and we got a miniature yellow heart. So that's awesome. Let's do this again. I'm going to put some stuff away here. I'm actually surprised that that didn't wither us, and I'm glad that it didn't because it probably would kill us if we got withered. At least I think so. We don't really have any way to recover health. Actually, you know what? Let's not do this. <laughs> Let us actually go back to the base let's make a portal spawner where are we going here i guess we have a waypoint somewhere start is over there new base yeah let's go make ourselves a portal spawner i think i have a skeleton spawner marked on our map somewhere we'll go find that we'll pick it up we'll bring it to the nether and then we'll collect ourselves a bunch of wither skeleton uh well i guess we will spawn a bunch of wither skeletons we'll make ourselves a room which we can get the necrotic bones and increase our health. So cool, let's do that. All right, guys, well, I found the skeleton spawner. Yeah, I did put a waypoint here a while ago. I think this is a spot that had one of those straw men or hay bale men or whatever on it. I can't figure out why there would just be a skeleton spawner on the surface. It's been a while since I found this thing, but yeah, I did mark this a while ago. So anyway, I made up the port of spawner and yeah, that did use up our nether star, but as we saw, those are pretty easy to get. So let's see how this works. I don't think I've ever used one of those before. Yeah, so that is, cannot place for 35 more seconds. Okay. Uh, I think this is a one-time use item. So every time I use it, it's gonna be broken. Uh, well, I guess you can only place it is what I mean to say. So yeah, we're gonna go into the nether and we're gonna set up a spawner room. I just got done making up a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, I made some MFR conveyor belts. Uh, the way we're gonna do this, we're gonna have the spawner like high up. Mobs are gonna drop directly on the conveyor belts. Then they're gonna be sent off into like a little one by whatever, one by nine area. And then we can run along and kill them. But anyway, I want these conveyor belts because these prevent other mobs from spawning. So we want to deal with gas spawning in there, or pigmen or anything. The only thing we're gonna get is the skeletons. So that's what I'm interested in. So that's why I made these. And these are pretty cheap. Yeah, just rubber, iron, and then two pieces of redstone get you 16 of them. So yeah, I like that. Then I made some redstone conduit from Ender IO. And this you just smelt up, what is it? Um, <laughs> silicon and redstone together. You get one of these redstone alloys and three of those makes eight of these redstone conduits. So those aren't too expensive at all. Okay, so the next thing is I need to fly back over to our new base, go through the nether portal, and then I'm gonna clear out some space and start setting up a room for our skeleton spawner. So I'll see you guys in just a minute. So this is the entrance to the nether in our new area, right? So I just dug out a little three by three here and then I made a path upwards like so yeah i went to into a creative world and i was testing how far wither skeletons need to drop to take them down to half a heart and i think it was 22 blocks is what i came up with the number uh but yeah we got a light here so i can turn the spawner on and off i haven't really hooked anything up there as far as the spawner goes uh, i just built the room and the spawning room up here uh this oops turn hover mode this will be fixed in a little while i just need to get myself one of the uh the conduit covers or whatever but yeah, I had to place this next to this lamp so it would turn on. Yeah, so anyway, um, that lever down there, there is redstone conduit that runs next to it up the wall, and it comes up here. Yep, and then it connects over and down and then touches this redstone lamp right here. So that turns that on and off. And then it comes down here and then just wraps all the way around the spawner room. So yeah, we can turn these lights on and off simply by flipping that lever down below, which will turn 
the spawner off, which is going to go right here. Now, this is going to be a vanilla spawner, a vanilla skeleton spawner. So it turns on and off just by having light around. We can't apply a redstone signal or anything to it. Uh, but another thing that we're going to do with the spawner, if you put cursed earth underneath a spawner, it spawns, I think, faster and uh, more frequently. I can't remember how this all works. I don't think I've ever done this before with a spawner. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're this block's going to be gone, and this block right here is going to be um, a drawbridge. So I went ahead and I made one of these. So that's going to go right like this, and then we are going to have cursed earth in here. I guess I have stone brick in there for some reason. Uh, yeah, we're going to have like cursed earth right here. So if we apply a redstone signal to this, which I don't have a lever to show you guys, <laughs> that would place the uh, nether rack right like that. But it will eventually be uh, the cursed earth in there. Can I, can I not access the inventory if I right click on it with that? I guess not. Okay. So anyway, uh, we can also color this thing by placing a block here. So then it takes a color of like <laughs> whatever we want to put there. Uh, I guess we could, you know, make it nether tent or if we wanted to, but yeah, anyway, uh, we'll stick one of those in there. So it just matches. Not like it matters. We're not going to be up in the spawner room at all ever. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have this. Let's see. We're cursed earth right like this. That'll go there and that'll be ejected when that gets a redstone signal. Uh, we need to replace this with the spawner, but I haven't done that yet. I want to make sure everything is set before we put a spawner in place and even start messing with anything. Um, so yeah, this room is nine by nine. I can't remember. This is the version where it only spawns in an eight by eight. And anyway, I just made this room nine by nine just to be uh, the most efficient, I suppose. So we'll have conveyor belts down here, pushing the skeletons all the way down like so. Now that I'm thinking about it, I built this room so skeletons could fit underneath the spawner, but <laughs> since we're doing this in such a way where we're going to be diverting the skeletons around, I guess I didn't need to make it this big. I could have made it two blocks smaller, but it's all fine. It's all fine. So anyway, uh, I'm going to continue working on this. I just need to get some glass put in right here. I do have a sound muffler down below, and then I also need to get this redstone run up there to our thingy our drawbridge and let's see. Yeah, we gotta invert the signal. The signal's on right now, which means if this was applied a redstone signal, it would put out the block. So we need to invert that signal. So when the lights are on, there is no block being placed. And when the lights are off, it places the block. Yeah, that's what we wanna do. Okay, so I got a few more things to work on around here. I'm gonna get to that and we'll be back guys. Okay, guys, so we're just finishing up the project now. Uh, I was able to pull that redstone signal like I wanted to uh, out of this redstone conduit into a redstone repeater, which pushes the power into this block, and we turn off a redstone torch. So this inverts the signal and does exactly what we want. We can see this working if I flip this lever here. This turns off the lights and then extends this block, and I can, you know, do that. So yeah, this definitely works exactly the way we want it to. So again, this will be the cursed earth. And when the lights are off, the cursed earth appears below the spawner that's going to be right here. It makes everything just go crazy. At least that is the intention here. I've never done the cursed earth spawner. I think I mentioned that earlier. So we will be testing this out for the very first time. Uh, so I can just go ahead and remove that. Yeah, actually, I need to go down here. This is going to be our main lever right there, turning the thing on and off. So that should, yeah, put everything in such a, well, get me through here <laughs> in such a fashion that's going to be just fine. Uh, yeah, I think what we should do then, let's go ahead and re replace this block with the spawner. And hopefully I do this right. Cool. So now we got the wither skeleton spawner. And we will replace this with the cursed earth. Yep. Let's place down the last of these conveyor belts together. And then everything up here should be the way we want it. Cursed earth. Lights on. Everything should be fine. Oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. Actually, no, I totally messed up on these conveyor belts. Oh, goodness. These need to be faced towards the center. 
let's fix these real quick. Okay, yeah, these guys need to be facing this way. Otherwise, <laughs> oh, I uh, messed them up again. I think we can use a wrench on those. Actually, I don't have a wrench on me. I'll just place these. There we go. Okay, so all the conveyors should be getting the monsters around the center pillar. Yep. All right, so let's go down here and test it out. We should just be able to flip the lever. And we should get a bunch of ender skeletons down here in almost no time. Let's give this a shot. Here they come. Here they come. That is awesome. Oh, no. Why are they dying? I tested this out in a creative world, and that's the right distance. I might have to move something. Maybe some slabs over here will fix it? Hmm. <laughs> and why aren't any more spawning? I thought that was supposed to make that spawner go way faster. Okay, well, I'm going to play around with this for a minute and see what else I can come up with. All right, guys. Well, this is definitely working. I ended up... Well, actually... Let me turn this off and we'll go up there real quick and we'll check it out as soon as I get rid of these skeletons that have just spawned. Get rid of you, get rid of you, and you. You should be the last one, I think. So yeah, it was a pretty simple way to get this thing fixed. All I did, well, hey, you're dead. <laughs> yeah, the only thing I did is I just placed down another platform here. So these guys roll off the end, they go down two more blocks, they land on this and then drop. That way they're all consistent, they don't die when they fall. And yeah, it seems to be working decently. I'm just a little, I don't know. I was gonna say upset. Upset isn't the right word. I guess disappointed. I'm a little disappointed. This doesn't work as fast as I thought it was gonna work. Uh, maybe the whole thing is with those is that it just works when like the players aren't around. Uh, so I just gotta be careful I don't leave this thing on and go AFK for too long or whatever. Uh, but yeah, it's, it seems to work. We're only getting, okay, well, I just <laughs> about lied. I was gonna say we were only getting wither skeletons. That's the first regular skeleton I've seen out of there. Yeah, we are definitely getting the wither skeletons and we are collecting these necrotic bones, which is pretty much what we were looking for, why I wanted to set this thing up in the first place. And then we can also use our cleaver and get the wither skeleton skulls as well uh, for fighting more wither bosses. So that's pretty cool. So I'll turn this thing off. We now have these bones. Let's go back to the overworld and make our heart can canisters. All right, guys, so we got everything set up here. We have our 10 necrotic bones. We have our 10 red hearts. We got 40 diamonds and 10 apples, and then we got 40 aluminum ingots to turn into these empty canisters. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll make these jeweled apples. Those are so expensive. <laughs> All right, so here we go. There is 10 red heart canisters. And if we go to this tab and stick them right here, we have now just doubled the amount of health that we can have. So that's awesome. So yeah, our health is gonna tick up to orange, which will give us you know, a total of 20 hearts over time. So that is really, really cool. Uh, we can continue to upgrade to yellow heart canisters and give another 10 hearts. Uh, we need yellow hearts plus the red heart canisters. So we can make those. The only problem is these golden apples and those require <laughs> eight gold blocks per apple. We are a little short on gold right now. We could make one. <laughs> and then we'd be out of gold. So I really don't want to do that. Uh, I really want to start working towards getting a quarry going so we can start getting these resources coming in. We don't have to worry about running out as often. Yeah, that's definitely something that I want to look at doing pretty soon. I really want to start looking at getting that nuclear reactor, a higher power one online here pretty soon. Yeah, lots of things we're going to be doing. But yeah, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved Expert Mode. Hope you guys liked it. <laughs> Remember to leave a like on the episode if you did. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.